Craft Warehouse. We're playing with resin again. And I am making this crazy galaxy project and I've got the first step done. What I've done here is I've just mixed these amazing Prolex powders in with our resin and I've just swirled them around and I've let it set up. It's ready to roll now. I'm making a galaxy and the Prolex powders, because they're pearly, they tend to be kind of pastel and light. So you can see this is maybe not as dark as I want a galaxy to be. So I'm going to show you a really cool trick to deepen your color without messing up your pearl. So I'm going to set this aside so you can see what I'm doing. And what I've got here is a few cups of resin all ready to go. And I've got Ranger alcohol inks in Glacier, in Cobalt, and then one in Sterling alloy. So this is really cool stuff. You want to make sure you mix it because it's got a little bit of pearl in it too. And I'm going to color these cups and I'm going to go pretty heavy with the color. Now remember, because alcohol inks changes the chemical consistency of your resin, you don't ever want your color to be more than 10% of your cup. So you can, you can get aggressive to a point, but it is possible to go too far and make it gummy. There's my silver. That is really cool stuff. Now I haven't used this one in resin yet. This is an experiment. We're going to see how it goes. So I've got my little popsicle stick. Oh yeah, that's mixing in fine. So I'm just going to mix these up. Um, you don't want to make a million zillion bubbles in here. Be careful. I always mix too fast and I end up with bubbles. I've got a heat gun and I can pop them, but you know, it take, makes more work for myself. All right. So we're going to get a nice deep color. And the alcohol inks inside the resin, this one will not be translucent because it's got a suspended pigment in it. But these normal alcohol inks are going to be see-through. So I'm going to be able to see my pearl through this and it's going to act kind of like a filter. So it's going to add a layer of color of deeper, darker color over the top of my existing pigment. All right, and this is a little lighter color. Okay, so I've got these guys pretty well mixed in. Now it's playtime. I'm going to set these aside and we'll bring our tray back over. Okay, so we're going to come back to the tray. Now this tray started out as a galvanized steel. You can kind of see it on the back here and I just scrubbed it down and gave it a coat of Montana spray paint in black. And I've got my resin in here that's got these three colors of Perlex. And we'll get you a little list at the end of the video here so you can see what all is in here. But yeah, these are so pretty. So now I'm gonna add another layer on top. And because I'm making a galaxy, I don't want it to be super even. I'm gonna move it around a lot. not as blue as I thought it would be. Ooh, cool. There we go. Okay. Just get a good mix of light to dark going here. Really, the star of the show is going to be that Pearl X that's already dry in the bottom layer. Because as this dries, that's going to show through. Okay, I'm going to hit this with the heat gun and pop the bubbles, and then you'll be able to see that a little better on the inside there. Popping the bubbles is my favorite part. It's like a magic trick. Because you can just see them all kind of flit and go away, and it all goes crystal clear really quick.
Okay, so you can see I've got these ribbons of dark and I really want this to be a little more twisty. And I'm literally just gonna take my tray and I'm gonna start rolling it around. So it kind of twists that color in a little better. And now I'm gonna take my silver And I want this to look like there's a burst, like a galaxy burst in the center. So I'm just going to swizzle this a little bit. It's kind of messy. There's no like perfect way to do this. Okay. And then I want it a little heavier going from side to side here. I'm just going to give it a little cap. So I'm going to take my heat gun. I'm going to blow it in both directions and see if I can get it to move around a little. Now, if you're at home, you can get in here with a drinking straw and blow it around a little more. I'm at the store, I have to keep my mask on, so I can't do that. But if you do that, be very, very careful that you don't inhale any of these fumes. So you wanna take your breath, then lean in, move your stuff around, stand back, take a breath. Don't hurt yourself, this stuff's pretty caustic. Okay, so we've got our little bit of nebula in here but I really want that to spin around in the middle like a galaxy so I'm just going to take my popsicle stick and I'm just going to get this center moving around a little bit and you just Keep moving it until you're happy with it. Every time you go around, it drags that suspended pigment in the alloy, the Ranger alloy ink, a little bit more. There we go. I'm gonna give it one last shot with the heat gun and I think we are in business. We're going to let this dry and in the meantime, I'm going to glitter this guy up. When this layer is dry, I'm going to drop this in over the top and seal it in with resin and that's going to be our galaxy tray. Okay, so we're back here with our tray all nice and set up. Look how cool. I've got my little dream hoop and I've got these adorable embellishments called sparklets. These are from Paper Crafts. They're like the cutest little stars. And I've got my glitter guy, fairest of them all. So we'll get this all sparkled up and finished. I am gonna put just a skim coat of resin on this guy, and then I'm gonna drop some glitter on it, and then we'll be ready to assemble everything. So this doesn't take much. I've got my resin already. I'm literally just gonna dip my fingers in and wipe it on here. I'm really just using it like kind of like a glue right now. 
So I'm not trying to do a big skim coat or anything. It doesn't need to have any dimension to it. It just needs to make this sticky so that my glitter will grab. And we'll find out exactly how well I've coated it when I go to drop glitter on it. <laughs> we'll see if it all grabs. Okay. I've got my tray here because I don't want to waste any of this glitter. It's so cute. I'm going to um, take off one glove so that I can work with my glitter without getting my bottle all sticky. Okay. I've got my little hoop all stickied up here. And I'm just going to pop this guy and just sprinkle over the top. And I'm using this tray so that I can um, just take the excess and go right back into the bottle so I don't waste any. And I've kept one glove on so I can move the hoop around without getting my fingers sticky and one glove off so I can move the glitter around without getting the glitter sticky. It's all a dance. <laughs> Come on, don't get stuck. All right, so there's my hoop all ready to go. I'm going to set this tray aside and I'll come back to it later when I'm not sticky anymore and that'll just get funneled right back into my little bottle here. I'm going to get some fresh gloves because I'm really covered in glitter and I'm going to set this aside for just a minute. Okay. Alright, so I've got my galaxy tray. I'm just going to put kind of a skim coat in here to give us something to stick our dream to. any so this coat and our coat on the little dream hoop um, it took about six ounces total so I made three ounces of resin and three ounces of hardener and mixed them together and that's giving me a good you know eighth of an inch coat on this tray sometimes it helps a lot to know how much resin to make it you always feel like you're gonna make too much or not enough or okay I'm gonna pop all my bubbles here Okay, that's good enough for now. So the bubbles are gonna keep coming to the surface as we work and we'll hit it again with the heat gun every once in a while to pop what, what's coming to the top. So I'm gonna drop my little dream hoop in here and it's probably, the resin will probably not cover it at this stage. Yeah, it might. Let's see where we're at. I'm gonna use my popsicle stick and just kind of nestle it down in there. Yeah, I think. I think it's just going to sit at the top, which is great. Okay, so I've got my little stars. I'm going to unglove because I don't need to be sticky for this stage. And I'm just going to sprinkle these guys in here. And you can be as particular or as loosey-goosey as you like. But you do want to, I wouldn't just dump it in because there are going to be little artifacts from manufacturing like this that we're not gonna want in our project. So I would pour it out in your hand first and kind of make sure that everything is, is good to go before you dump it in. And 
and these they kind of self right like they really want to sit flat so when you drop them in they pretty much just lay down for you and I want it to look like they're kind of falling down from the top of the tray here So I'm going to do them a little heavier at the top and then just sprinkle them down. Let go little friend. There we go. Oopsie. There's one that's a couple stuck together. We don't want that one in there. Now, if you wanted to be really particular with your placement, um, you could totally use a pair of tweezers to do this and it would make it easier to get everything just so. Um, if you've watched any of the other videos that I've done, you probably know that I'm a little loosey-goosey and I just go for it. Okay. So we've got our glitter kind of spreading out from the dream. If you don't like that look, um, you can let that cure overnight before you plop it in. I kind of like that. I'm, I want this to all look like a nebula, so I want it to kind of spread and move and do crazy things but I don't really want it all right up next to the letters. So I'm just gonna pull it out into my project a little bit so that the letters are still easy to read and clear. Because I don't mind the glitter, but I do mind if I can't read my dream lettering. There we go, that's a little clearer. All right, we're gonna hit it with the heat gun again. We'll let this set up overnight and then we'll come back and we'll do another skim coat and she'll be all done. All right, we've got our dream tray. It's all dry. All of the glitter is sealed inside so it can't come up anymore, but it's still kind of bumpy. So I'm just gonna put one last coat in here and it's just gonna be thin enough, just thick enough to cover the, the shape um, so that you can still use it as a tray. We don't want to fill it to the top because then it's just like a hockey puck. Uh, da, 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 da. I'm just going to pour straight to the center and let it puddle its way out. Um, you kind of tend to get less bubbles that way. Um, and because I mix my resin too fast, I always have a ton of bubbles. Okay, I'm going to grab my little popsicle stick and get the last little bit out here so I don't waste any. And then we'll hit it with the heat gun to get rid of any bubbles. It's a really good idea on these final coats like this um, to pop back over like every 15, 20 minutes um, and hit it with the heat gun to get rid of any bubbles. Sometimes you'll still have bubbles that come to the surface a little bit later. Um, and I usually do that for like the first two hours and then I'm good after that. So we'll hit it with the heat gun. I'm going to tilt it. I'm going to tilt it just a little bit because it looks like it hasn't made it all the way to that other edge yet. There we go. Okay, there we go. So I'll get rid of the bubbles, let it set overnight, and we'll be finished with our dream tray.